Hi folks, it's Phil Avengers from the Elements team looking at one of the super cool new features in Premiere Elements 11 and that's namely time remapping. That's a bit of a geek term but to you and me it's the ability to change the speed of various sections of your video so you can create great slow motion, fast motion and even reverse motion effects in your films and video clips. To start off with, let's look at an example of this. I'm just going to jump out of the time remapping mode and we'll go back and take our playhead back to the beginning and we'll start off by playing the video in full normal speed and then let's go and look at a super slow-mo effect you can see how the boy jumping in the air has been slowed right down and we have like a very very slow motion effect and then in the last clip we'll see a reversal so you can see we've got the boy jumping up and then reversing back. So that's fantastic. That's the sorts of things that you can do with the time remapping mode. So let's grab the clip in its raw form and then let's have a look at how we can apply these types of effects. So this first step for us is just to select the clip. So make sure you've got the blue line sitting around the clip itself. You notice I've already trimmed in and out points to make sure that we've just got the action happening in there. The boy jumping in the air and having a shot at the hoop. Now that we've got that, let's go down to tools and then scroll down to the very bottom of the available tools and you'll see the new time remapping option there. We'll select that. We'll jump into the time remapping mode and it's a special workspace just for remapping time of your video clips. Down the bottom here you'll see a few options and I've already taken the audio from this particular clip but when you're actually playing with time you'll notice that the audio distorts as well so try to keep this in mind when you're shooting or when you're selecting clips that you're going to remap time or add a bit of slow-mo or fast motion options. Now that we've got the clip sitting here I'm simply going to add a time zone. You'll see that we get this green zone sitting here. Just like when we're trimming we can grab either end of this green zone and isolate the section of the video clip that we're going to change the speed of. So here we want to move it in just to the boys just coming into shot and for the other end we want the ball just coming back down. So that's the section of the video that we want to change the time. Once we've got a time zone on the video clip, you'll see underneath we have a range of settings going from extremely fast right the way down through normal where it's sitting at the moment and down to extremely slow. So if we want a slow effect we'll just click one of these like so. We can ease in and ease out which basically means we have a smoother transition from normal speed to the change speed that you're selecting and then we just click done. Now when we play that back let's look at the effect go back to the beginning click play normal speed slow motion speed and then back to normal speed again so it works very well and it's very easy to do let's go back into the tools again go back to time remapping you'll see our existing edit there I'm just gonna hit delete on that to remove it we'll add a new time zone in and this time let's look at speeding up the action so we'll take it to the end and bring the endpoint in so we just see, okay that's looking good. Now let's go very fast, so it's four times the action. Ease in and ease out again, click done. Let's preview that and see how it looks. Normal speed, fast speed, and then back to normal speed again. And the last one that we'll have a look at is just doing a reversal of motion. So again, select the clip, go down to tools, then time remapping get rid of the option that we have already, add in time zone, and grab this section that we want to reverse, that's the point that we want as the out point, come back and that's the point that we want as the in point, we'll make it very slow, ease in ease out again, and this time we'll select reverse, rather than the forward option that was there in the first place. I'm going to add a second time zone as well 
And for this one, we'll just speed up the end of the clip. So once we've got the ball back into the court, and we'll add some fast motion to that. So you can add multiple time remaps to a single source clip, adding ease in and ease out to that selection. Click done. Go back to the beginning of the clip and then press play to see our result. Normal, reverse, and then faster. All done in a single clip using the new time remapping mode.